Hello, this is Rohit, and we will be solving the problem Chef Drinks Tea. Its difficulty level is cakewalk, and it appeared in July cook-off. It requires observation. Chef has planned that he will drink exactly x liters of tea daily. He has an empty jar having a capacity of y liters. Chef can visit the tea shop to refill the jar, and in each refill, the jar is completely filled to the brim, and Chef is charged z rupees. So Chef wonders what is the minimum amount of money he has to pay for drinking exactly x liters of tea daily. So for our input, the first line will be t, which is the number of test cases, and then for each test case, we will have three integers, x, y, and z, denoting the amount of tea Chef has to drink daily, the capacity of his jar, and the cost of refilling the jar once. If for output, we have to print a single integer, which is the minimum amount Chef has to pay. Let's have a look at the sample test case. For the first test case, we have x equal to three. That is, chef wants to drink x liters of tea daily. Y is equal to three, which is the maximum capacity of the jar, and z is also equal to three, which is the cost of refilling the jar once. So, as chef wants to drink th three liters of tea daily, and the capacity of the jar is also three liters, chef will just refill the jar once, and then he can drink his three liters of tea out of it. So as he just going to refill the jar once, the answer would be one, which is the number of times he refills the jar, multiplied by the cost of refilling the jar once, which is z. This would be one into three, which is three. The answer is three in this case. Let's have a look at the second sample test case. X is equal to six. That means chef wants to drink six liters of tea daily. Y is equal to three, which is the maximum capacity of the jar, and then z is equal to three. Which is the cost of refilling the jar once. So now, chef wants to drink six liters of tea every day, and the maximum capacity of the jar is three liters. So what chef will do is he will first refill the jar once, then drink three liters of tea out of it, and then chef will again refill the jar for the second time, and then drink the remaining three liters from it. And now we can see that chef has completed his daily amount of six liters. So the answer would be the number of times that chef has refilled the jar, which is two in this case, multiplied by the cost of refilling the jar, which is z. So it would be two multiplied by three, which is six. The answer is six in this case. Moving to the third test case, we have x equal to five, y equal to seven, and z equal to two. So chef wants to drink five liters of tea every day, and the maximum capacity of the jar is seven. So it means that chef will have to refill the jar once, and then as there is seven liters of tea in the jar, chef can drink five liters of tea out of it. And so as chef has refilled the jar only once, and chef has finished drinking the five liters of tea, so the answer would be one multiplied by z. Which is one into two, is two. The answer is two in this case. And for the final test case, we have x equal to nine, which is the amount of liters chef will drink every day. Y equal to four and z equal to five. So what chef will do is he will first refill the jar once, drink four liters of tea, and then he will refill the jar again and drink four liters of tea. And then he is left with drinking one liter of tea to complete his daily quota. So for that, he will again have to refill his jar. And we know that even if chef wants to drink only one liter of tea, he will have to fully refill the jar, which will cost him z rupees. So we can see that chef has to refill his jar thrice. So the answer would be three multiplied by the cost of refilling the jar once, which is z. So it would be three multiplied by five, which is fifteen. So now let's see the algorithm to this question. So what we are doing here is, we have a jar of capacity four liters, and we want to somehow cover these x liters. So what we do is we just calculate the value x by z, because we want to cover nine liters, and we have four liters available to us at once. So in this case, nine divided by four would be two point two five. 
बट एज वी नो दैट वी कॉन्ट फिल अ जार टू पॉइंट टू फाइव टाइम्स वी कैन फिल द जार ट्वाइस और थ्राइस सो इन दिस केस इफ वी ओनली फिल द जार ट्वाइस शेफ विल ओनली ड्रिंक शेफ विल ओनली बी एबल टू ड्रिंक एट लीटर्स ऑफ टी देर फोर विच इज लेस एंड हेल्स शेफ विल हैव टू रिफिल थ्राइस सो देर फोर द अमाउंट ऑफ टी अवेलेबल टू हेम वुड बी थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाय फोर विच इज ट्वेल्व एंड फ्रॉम दैट ही कैन ड्रिंक इज नाइन लीटर्स ऑफ टी सो एज वी सो वी जस्ट टेक आर इनपुट एक्स वाई एंड जेड वी कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय वाई एंड इफ इट इज एन एंटीजर देन वेल एंड गुड अदरवाइज वी विल वॉन्ट टू राउंड इट ऑफ टू द smallest integer which is greater than or equal to the value x by y so in this case we saw that x is 9 y is 4 and z is 5 so x by y was 2.25 so we round it off to 3 which is the smallest integer greater than or equal to 2.25 and this would be the number of times chef will have to refill the jar and the answer would just be the number of times he will have to refill multiplied by the cost of each refill so another way of thinking this problem would be let's say the answer is n that is the number of times chef will have to refill his jar and so chef would want that the total amount of tea available in liters to him would be greater than equal to the amount of tea he wants to drink every day so the total tea would be n multiplied by y which is the number of times he refills multiplied by the maximum capacity of the jar should be greater than equal to x which is the t he wants amount of t he wants and this implies that n should be greater than equal to x divided by y so as n has to be an integer we see the reason why we have to round it off to the smallest integer greater than equal to x by y now let's have a look at the pseudo code we take the input of three integers x y z we then calculate the value of a so we can do that by so if x is divisible by y a would be just x by y mm -hmm. otherwise we will have to round it off to the smallest integer greater than equal to x by y so c++ by default has the option of rounding it off to the greatest integer which is less than or equal to the value so let's say if two the answer is 2.5 so our division operator will round it off to 2 but we want to round it off to 3 or if the answer was let's say 3.7 our division operator would have rounded it off to 3 but we wanted 4 so what we do is we just assign a to be x divided by y plus 1 and then we print our answer our answer is nothing but the number of time chef will have to refill which is a multiplied by the cost of each refill which is z it's nothing but a multiplied by z if you are still unable to understand the problem or not able to get the correct answer to your code then don't worry you can ask your doubt to our doubt solvers so what you have to do is you have to go to the practice problem section and then search for the problem which you are having difficulty in Let's say the problem code of that problem is DNA storage. So you search for the problem, go to the problem, and then under the Ask a Doubt tab, you can go and ask your doubts, and your doubts would be cleared instantly. Let's have a look at the C++ implementation. So we take our input T, which is the number of test cases. Then for each test case, we take our input of X, Y, and Z. X is the amount of liters chef wants to drink every day. Y is the maximum capacity of the jar, and Z is the cost of each refill. Then we just declare our variable n, which is the number of refills chef does, mm -hmm. and we just assign the value of n. If X is divisible by Y, that means we won't have to round it off. So n is equal to X by Y. Otherwise, we just assign n to be X divided by Y plus one, and our answer would be. number of times he will have to refill multiplied by the cost of each refill the time complexity in this case would be constant because we are just performing constant time operations which is 
चेकिंग ऑफ द रिमाइंडर डिविजन एंड एडिशन